Hello, Freunde, and welcome to December, or as I like to call it, Christmas month. Listen, this whole month is dedicated to Christmas. I don't make the rules, that's just how it is. Now, I'm coming from America, or as I like to call it, the consumerism capital of the world. I don't actually like to call it that, everyone else does. It's kind of true. Now, with Christmas fast approaching, it is high time to start thinking about what gifts to get your family and friends. But that begs the question, what the heck are you supposed to get them? There's so many things out there, and you don't want to be one of those people that gets one of those really, really bad gifts. You know what I'm talking about? Like, a book or a DVD, like, what is this, 2005? A DVD? I don't even have anything you can play a DVD these days, come on. But what makes a good gift? Well, something that's practical, useful, and tailored to the individual that you're buying the gift for. Or all three. Honestly, that's the sweet spot. So how are you supposed to get a unique and thoughtful gift for each of your friends and family without breaking the bank? Good news for you, I've compiled a list of my top 20 Christmas gifts for this holiday season for his, hers, and those who don't really appreciate the zeros or ones. Let's get started. Starting off the list in no particular order, we all have that friend that's really bad at taking care of plants. Hell, you've heard stories before that they ended up killing a cactus. And geez, those things are hard to kill. Believe me, I've tried. In general, a houseplant is a really, really lovely gift to give someone. Even someone that's really bad with plants. Actually, I have a solution for you. Let me get my boy back there. All right, everyone say hello to Salazar. Hi, okay, this Salazar. here is a snake plant. The lighting has changed because it's blocked by this beautiful beauty. Now, Salazar is a snake plant or mother-in-law's tongue. This is a phenomenal house plant to give to the friend of yours that is really bad with plants or great with plants. The reason why? This thing is incredibly good at cleaning the toxins out of your house. It increases the oxygen in your room at night. And also, these things are so difficult to kill. When I went to Germany for a month and a half last month, none of my roommates remembered to water this guy. However, he looks fine, doesn't he? I came back from the trip and he was just like, bruh. And I was like, sorry man, gave him some water. He looks happy as he can be. What a happy little plant. This guy is literally the toughest to kill in the world. You just water him like, whenever you feel like it. Mostly once every two weeks, maybe once a month. It really depends on the season, summer, water, more. Either way, this is such a beautiful plant to get. Just get a nice little pot with it, and whoever you're buying it for will love and appreciate it forever. I've had this snake plant for over two years now. You'll have noticed it in a lot of old videos of mine because it just, it just keeps growing, it's really cool. But if you do give a lovely snake plant like this to a friend and they still somehow manage to kill it, you should probably plant to leaf that friendship. It's not a good one. All right, Salazar, let's put you back. Also, by the way, forgot to note, but uh, this guy doesn't even need sunlight. Like, literally, he doesn't like direct sunlight. You just put him in the back corner of your room. He's hard to kill, like I said. 10 out of 10 plant, good gift. Buy him for all your friends. Under 25 pounds. You get one of these, 10 quid. 10 quid with a pot, 15. It's a great choice. Happy as a tree can be. So, next up on our list is another gift that just keeps on giving. It's thoughtful, it's kind, and your friend will think of you every time they smell it. Get your friend a really nice, Candle. Now I'm not talking about no Poundland candles, okay? No friend's gonna want a candle that's just kind of there, it, it lights, it doesn't really smell at all. No, no, no. You want to get yourself some Bath and Body Works candles. Fresh Balsam is a lovely, lovely Christmas scent. It just oh, smells like a pine tree that has exploded in my room. We also have Sweater Weather, my 10 out of 10. If you don't know any scents from Bath and Body Works, you gotta get Sweater Weather. It is genuinely the best candle you can get for your friend and they will love you every day of their lives that they smell this candle. Or another smell that makes a lot of sense in autumn and winter is flannel. It smells so nice, it will fill your room up with a beautiful, beautiful aroma. And the thing about these types of candles are, you can light them for 10 minutes and your room will smell lovely for an entire week. That is the quality you get with a Bath and Body Works candle. Not sponsored, these things are just phenomenal. Now normally these guys cost a pretty penny at about $23.50, but you can get them on sale all the time. Yesterday, you can get three of these for the price of one, so basically about eight bucks each, so I got my friend to buy me a lot of them. Now, here's the thing. They don't exist in the UK, sadly. You have to get a friend to bring them from abroad. It's very sad. They're in Dubai, Australia, USA. Why doesn't the UK have these? Well, I've got your back. I'm sorry if you're British and you're upset. I can't get these amazing candles. Honestly, a nice second bet. Yankee Candle. Yankee Candles aren't really that bad. They smell really nice, they fill the room with a nice aroma. Not quite as long lasting as a Bath and Body Works, but still, you can get these at any Westfield in the UK. So here's where the gifts get a bit more tailored. Now we all know one of those friends that is a big fitness buff. Or maybe they at least try. They go to the gym once a month just to post a boomerang on Instagram to be like, look, I work out. Sure you do, Jim. Sure you do. But, for that friend that's interested in exercising, going to the gym a bit more, nothing is a better gift for them than a nice, flattering pair of leggings, okay? Specifically, I recently got some Gymshark leggings on a sale, and oh my gosh, they make me feel so good about myself. I look good in them, I work oh. out in them all the time, I go running in them. I also got uh. a matching set of Gymshark leggings and a top for my friend Dodie. She looks amazing, they're very flattering, 10 out of 10 gift. Honestly, they're also really comfortable to lie around, so even if they stop working out, They'll probably wear them all the time. They can't help it, they're just too comfortable. I bought my leggings on sale last week for eight quid, which is a huge bargain, but usually they're around 25 quid, so right at the upper end of my spectrum. Following through with more fitness-related gifts for that friend named Jim, no one likes to have to do exercises on their hard floor. It hurts your knees, it's not that nice. If you don't vacuum that often, you might see an unruly hair chilling there when you're doing Ugh. a push-up. Grim, gross. Ugh. Get your friend a yoga mat. You can get a nice yoga mat for like 10 quid. They'll be like, wow, 
I'm gonna use this. Like I said, just make sure it's an actual person that's going to do these or has an interest in doing workouts. It's changed my life having a yoga mat. I don't go to the gym nearly as often because I can just work out in my own room. And my last gift I recommend for that fitness related friend named Jim, let's just say they already have nice leggings and for some reason you think they don't need more. Let's just say they already have a yoga mat. What you can get them is a really nice dumbbell set. You can get dumbbell sets on Amazon for like 20 quid or Argos for like 18 quid probably. I personally got like two of these boys. It's great because now I can work out at home, I don't have to go to the gym as often and I'm still getting my exercise in. So if your friend is like me and wants to try and get a bit more fit, easy gift, just hopefully they don't end up sitting in their closet forever uh, unused. And if you are a Coca-Cola t-shirt wearing YouTuber and you give this gift to a friend, hopefully they don't say, that gift was dumbbell, dumbbell. I'm trying my best with these puns, okay? All right, so your friend isn't a gym person. It's time to move on to the next section. Let's go to the kitchen. Hello, welcome to my kitchen. Probably should have been here for the entire video now that I think about it, but I guess that's next week's. Well, here we are. If you've got a friend that's a big cooking aficionado, they probably enjoy cooking, not as much as they could, with this knife set. I feel like I'm in some sort of game show or something. So if you like cooking, nothing is worse than using a dull knife. Yet no one really owns a nice pair of knives. I feel like that's one of the biggest adult things you can get for yourself or for someone else. Is a knife, is a knife nice block? You know what, that pun was not intentional. It was pun intentional. Look at this beautiful knife. Not only fun to cut with, but aesthetically pleasing. So you can get a nice set of knives like this with a knife block for about 20 to 25 quid on Amazon. But honestly, if your friend doesn't have a knife block, it changes your life. Definitely makes you feel like more of an adult with one of these. The next gift I'd like to recommend is a pretty safe bet. I wouldn't say it's very whiskey of you. It's whiskey, get a nice bottle of whiskey. I'm not talking about just going to get a standard like cheap bottle of Sainsbury whiskey. I'm talking about like a nice double brewed. This one specifically isn't standard Jack Daniels, it's Gentleman Jack. You know, it tastes a little bit better, a little bit smoother. It's one of those gifts that I feel like you can get it for most any holiday, but whiskey, Christmas, me drinking alone. You know, they fit really well together. You can get a nice bottle of this stuff for like 20, 25 quid on Amazon. You can also get a bottle of Maker's Mark, but it's another that's like entry level, like nice whiskey, has like a really cool looking bottle with wax on it. It's delicious, delicious whiskey, definitely my choice. And your friend's gonna be wild. Wow. They'll say, wow. This one, we only have a little bit left because that's how good it was. Also, alcohol does not last long in this house. <laughs> Listen here, cops. A relevant gift you could give to your friend. Uh, maybe you could bail them out of jail if that's them in the cop car driving by my house. Stop it! Stop committing crimes on Christmas! Grindelwald, there's the crimes! <laughs> so our last kitchen themed gift today needs us to move the camera a little bit over this way. There's a light, don't buy my light. This is one of those gifts that's like super amazing if you're American because it's so out of the world. And if you're British, you're like, what? That's a, what? A nice electric kettle. Now follow me here. If you're British, you're like, what do you mean? That comes with the house. Usually you look at a nice house, everything's perfect, good area, good rent. You ask the guy, where's the kettle? And he's like, doesn't, doesn't have a kettle. And you're like, well, we have other places to see. It's nice to see. You know, kettles come with a house here in the UK, but in the US, it's not a thing. We just boil our water like normal people that are American when we want to make tea. But if you want to make tea instantaneously, really look for the pun there. I, I couldn't find it. Or coffee, any other hot beverage, hot cocoa. I'm not going to judge. Get yourself a really nice electric kettle. Now this one specifically is currently being de-limed. It's got some lime scale in it. However, we just got this. It's a really nice one because, now watch this, it's gonna blow your freaking minds. Dun 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 dun, whoosh. You can't really tell, can you? <laughs> Let me turn the lights off. Oh, it's brewing. Whoosh. You can get a really nice electric kettle like this on Amazon for about 20 pounds. And it's a really nice gift to give to someone that has one of those standard ones because it's special. Or if they're American, they probably don't have one. So it's like, wow, cool. It's a great gift for Christmas or a housewarming, either or really. And with that, it's time we chat about gifts in a different room. Now, I don't know how well you know your friends, but hear me out here, a bidet attachment for their toilet is a 10 out of 10 purchase. You can get one on Amazon for like 25 quid and it squirts water off their butt, saves the environment. Are they a green person? They have to use a bidet, they'll love it. Every time they squirt water in their butt, they'll think of you. Like I said, it's a weird one. It's a 10 out of 10 purchase. I, we have a bidet in our other bathroom and it's a good idea, okay? You can literally get an attachment for this. It's great, under 25 quid. Your friend will love you, and it is just a little bit unsettling, the whole squirty, squirty, thinky, thinky thing. But you'll love it over that, it's fine. If you're not that close with someone enough to uh, allow them to squirt their butts thanks to you, well, I've got a cheap gift for you, which is in the bathroom, Lush Bath Bombs. You can get so many Lush Bath Bombs for like three to five quid each. They're a really great gift, as long as your friend likes baths. Who doesn't like baths? Obviously me, I haven't even used these. Most people like baths, and it's also nice to just have a nice relaxing bath with, you know, a French kiss bubble bar. Like I said, be confident with these gifts. As long as you confidently go, you will like this, you will. 
They'll have to like it. You, you gotta maintain eye contact. All right, that's enough of the bathroom stuff. Let's get back into my room. Listen, I know I mocked books a bit in the beginning of this video, but here's the thing. A lot of people just go for that as a default gift, and like, how many people do you know love reading and will totally read any book that you give to them? I get given so many books at this point, I'm just kind of like, oh, thanks. Uh, I don't really have that much of an interest in this. Unless you have a really good connection with your friend and this is like the best book you've ever read and you're like, read the book, I will kill you if you don't read this book. Then, I don't know, it's probably just gonna sit in their bookshelf. Looks precariously at my bookshelf of unread books. However, an easy way around this and a great way to give a friend a book that they'll actually appreciate, find out what book series they love and get them like a collector's edition or special version of that book. For instance, I love Lord of the Rings. There's so many like illustrated copies of Lord of the Rings out there or collector's editions of The Hobbit and stuff. That's really cool. I mean, you already know I like Lord of the Rings. Get me a special version of that book, 10 out of 10. And if your friend doesn't like your gift, well, it's time to book some therapy. It's gonna take a long time to get over. Now we all have that one friend that's too addicted to Fortnite. Used to hang out with them all the time and now they just spend all of their waking hours playing Fortnite and trying to get those victory or else. The best gift you can give to them, obviously makes sense here, unplug their console, force them to go outside, and then you've just given them the taste of freedom. They can do whatever they want now. If they end up just doing freaking Fortnite dances and emotes outside, bring them back inside, turn the console back on and buy some V-Bucks. Okay, it's a bit of a lame gift in my opinion, but hey, if they really like Fortnite, they wanna buy some new emotes, here you go. You chicken tender, you go floss some more. Oh, oh I need to stop I'm dancing. Moving back into a more practical gifts, but also just really lovely, everyone appreciates a new pair of pajamas or pajamas if you're British. Don't put any pie in there. That was bad even for me. A lot of guys I know don't even wear pajamas to bed, but here's the thing, it's probably because they don't have any. Get them a really nice soft pair of sweatpants, tracksuit bottoms, tracky tracky bum bums, joggers. I don't know, there's so many names for them in the UK. I don't know, just sweatpants. Give them a nice soft pair of sweatpants. Last year I bought my friend Connie a cute little sleepwear set that had a little bunny hood with little ears at the top. It was really cute, she wore it all the time and I was really excited because it's nice when you have a gift that you give someone that they actually appreciate and use. So 10 out of 10, buy your friend a sleepwear set and they will wear it and think of you every time, like a little hug around them every time they wear it. As a kid, the worst thing to find at your Christmas tree is probably a dead body. But other than that, it's definitely socks and underwear. Mom, you buy me socks and underwear every month. Why would I want them for Christmas? Are you kidding me? I don't want this at all. However, as an adult, oh my God, you give me underwear and socks, holy crap, I love you. I now got a fresh pair, I wear these all the time. Don't just go for like some standard cheap underwear, but honestly, even if you did, free underwear and free socks as an adult is an amazing gift, so thanks. Just depends on how confident you are if you're giving underwear to your friend. Hey buddy, wear these for me. I'll stick with the socks. I'll just, I'll go with the socks actually. All right, so none of those other gifts seem to tickle your fancy. It's time to move on to the tech sector. The tech tour. It doesn't really work. Now, we all have one of those friends that will lose everything they freaking own. They're looking for the wallet all the time. They're looking, where's my phone? There's my phone. I do this all the time. Now, I'm that friend. My friend Dodie bought me a gift two years ago. Saved my life so many times. It's called a tile mate. A tile mate is a little chip you can put in your wallet, you can put in your backpack. Anytime you lose these items, boop, you can ping it on your phone, makes a noise, there it is, even shows up on a map the last place it was. Oh my gosh, the amount of times it has saved my life when I thought I lost my wallet and it was literally in my pocket in my old pants. Okay, maybe it didn't save my life, but it saved me at least 10 minutes of searching. I hate that so much. You can currently buy a tile mate on Amazon for about 15 quid, so definitely not breaking the bank for this gift, but it's super practical, super useful, and hopefully they don't lose anything ever again. Unless they lost the tile mate, like I have to two of them at this point. If only JK Rowling had used a tile mate on the plot of that last film. Fantastic plots and where to find them. <laughs> Plot holes of Grindelwald. Sorry, I'm still salty. Now, if your friend is extra techy, I'm assuming they already own like an Alexa or a Google Home, Google Home Mini. Now, normally I'd recommend one of those, except the price of a Google Home Mini is just outside the price range of this video at 30 quid. Ooh, it's a really nice one though. But if they already own one of those, nothing is a better purchase that complements your Google Home setup than a smart bulb or a smart outlet. Oh my gosh, they make my room so freaking cool. I have it set up for this whole place, basically. Hey, Google. Change Larry to blue. Okay, changing the Larry to blue. You might not have noticed, but Larry turned blue. <laughs> hey Google, turn Larry white. Oh, I should have named him Barry. But besides the smart bulb, a smart outlet is an even better gift because it makes any appliance you own in the house now smart. Such as if you have an extension cable into your smart outlet, all the things plugged into that are now smart. Such as this. Hey Google, turn off my Christmas tree. Well, now it's dark. Sure, there we go. 
Christmas, Christmas is saved. You can get a smart bulb on Amazon for like 15 quid, smart outlet about 15 quid as well. So really easy, nice gifts, not breaking the bank for that techie friend that will love and support you every time they turn the lights on in the room. They'll think of you. Just ask them not to name their light after you so they don't constantly have to ask the Google to turn you on. Probably a bit unsettling. I'm sorry for any Larrys in the audience. <laughs> Don't you hate it when you sit down to watch a film that you paid for legally and you try and set it up with your TV, you plug in the HDMI, crap, your laptop doesn't have an HDMI cable, it keeps sputtering, what am I supposed to do? Easy solution, your TV, it's now smart. A Chromecast. You can get a Chromecast for like 25 quid. They're super amazing. You can literally put anything that's on your laptop now on the TV. It's honestly such a useful purchase. Uh, it's one of those things that's like, we're living in the future. Thank God for Chromecast. Get your friend one of those if they don't have one because 10 out of 10 purchase, would recommend. All right, so you've been watching this video and you're like, dang, Evan, I don't got this kind of money. I am really skint, but I want to give a nice gift. What can I give? Well, everyone likes music. Let's say your friend doesn't have Spotify yet. Not sponsored. It's just right now for this month, you can get three months for 99p each month. There you go, Merry Christmas. I saw that discount. You only spent three pounds. Listen. I gave you three months of music. Listen to some music. Stop listening to ads. I am doing an Instagram brand deal for this specific deal. Not here at all. I just thought the deal was so good. Might as well throw it in my Christmas video. Why not? You can't argue with the three pound gift. However, if you are arguing with the three pound gift, Evan, Evan, that's too much money. The best gift, the final gift you can give to someone that will mean the world to them is your time. Your time is probably the most valuable thing you can spend on someone. And this Christmas, if you do not want to focus on buying different gifts and things for other people, instead, spend time with them. Hang out with them. Hug them a little bit. Go visit Winter Wonderland. Go for a walk with them. Just chat with them. Nothing is worth more than spending your time with your friends and loved ones this Christmas. Your friend might argue and say, did you seriously not get me a gift? Are you trying to tell me that you're just gonna hang out with me? Tell them, your time is worth a lot more than they think it is, so you better be thankful. But I hope you liked my list, and if you're also looking for another free thing you could possibly give to your friend, give them a subscription to my YouTube channel. It's free, I make new videos every Sunday, I haven't missed a single upload in over four years, and I'll just keep making them forever, so that's entertainment forever. They're welcome, you're welcome, I'm welcome to you. Thank you very much for subscribing to my channel, I do appreciate it. Give this video a like if you liked it, if not, that's okay man. It's Christmas and everything, but. But also join the community. Leave me a comment below on your favorite gift that you can get under 25 quid and also upvote your favorites down below so that way we can see like what everyone's buying this year. So I can steal your ideas and buy them for friends since I obviously can't buy anything in this video since they'll all know. Help me be secretive. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next Sunday. Goodbye. Ho, ho, hold on. Don't forget, you can watch my other videos right here. I speak so fast sometimes. I don't even know what I just said. You can watch my. Bye.